welcome to another video. I'm JH Last Jun. You can call me JH, you can call me Last, you can call me Jun, you can call me Last Jun. I prefer you to call me Last, to be honest. Uh, so today, I thought it would be fun for me to have a little break from all the headband stuff because I'm, I'm very tired of doing big, uh, medium-sized project. That's not a big project, to be honest. So I thought maybe I could do a little small project, a little small pro what the f a small project, uh, which is uh, using hair clip and I'll put dessert on it. So today's dessert is pudding, caramel pudding. And um, the reason why I want to change it to clip is because then first of all, as I just said, I'm bored of it, I'm tired of uh, the headband stuff. And second of all, because I don't really need a lot of planning for the clip because the clip, the surface is only like maximum this big of surface but the headband, you have to think about okay, what do you have to put at here, what do you have to put on top of it, what do you have to put on the other side you have to think about a lot of things that could affect the uh, whole presentations so I don't really want that uh, the clip it's just a small surface as I was just saying so you could put anywhere on your head you don't have to think about that much so I thought yeah maybe I'll do a clip so let's start the project shall we
Right, so this is the first checkpoint which I have uh, in the usual done cut out all the pattern not all of them I still have the cream one but like um yeah it's like that so this is the pudding part I stick on the uh, brown part onto it using the fabric glue and then this is the bottom part and this is the top part and yeah that's all for the pattern I don't I haven't cut out the uh, cream yet so uh, We'll just have to see later right now i just want to sew this on so i'll see you in the next step or the next time lapse i don't know we'll see bye bye Um, I, I cut the wrong pattern, it was not supposed to be straight line, it's supposed to be a curve kind of pattern, uh, this, this thing, this side should not be a straight line cut, it should be something like this, now I realized it and this thing just looks so ugly without the curve okay because it looks like a bucket but um right now because of false calculations fuck my s fucking life uh nah i don't i don't really like i don't really like something like this this is too straight must i say but i'm still going to continue this off camera i am going to redo it a new one Again, because I can't, and I don't really like to. I don't. Hey, I'm back. Uh, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> it's not. I'm not very tired. It's just that I don't really want to talk fast. So uh, this might be a long clip. So I redo all of my s pattern. And I cut out all of them. This is uh, slightly smaller than this one. I compare the size a bit. Um, but this is the result of the first one that uh, I did not cut it into a bottom wider kind of shape. Okay, so this is this. I super glue everything. And now I'm just gonna do this one. I also cut out a lot of cream shape. This is the shape of a cream. Uh, you can go on Pinterest to search about uh, the pattern of felt. They had a lot of tutorials, so you don't have to depend on me to give you the tutorials. Just go and search. And yeah, this is all of them. I did not cut up the top of the pudding, which is yellow color, uh, because I thought that okay, maybe if I sew this on, and then I could have like a shape of the top, and then I then cut the shape after I make everything because I don't really want to waste my felt. I'm very frugal to be honest. Okay, so um, yeah that's that and I will now start the project. First of all, before I show you the final project, I would like to first apologize for my very tired mood swings. Um, I'm very sorry, I don't know why. Probably because um, I don't know. I just don't know. So here's the final outcome. And this is the final one. I have this one as a test spring one, but if you can see, the cream on top, I 
like the cream a much more bigger one so that it could cover like the very small bases maybe i should like press it down a little bit more and yeah as you can see this one is, looks like a bucket and it's very bulky so i don't really like it but this one has more of a silhouette that uh, i want it to so i'm very happy with this um i'll get the montage of it and yeah this is my final project so if you have any questions or any suggestions you want to give me you can comment down below if you like my video you can like and share and if you like me you can go ahead and subscribe to me and turn on the notification so that you can get notified every time i upload and if you like to follow me on my art journey here's my instagram and yeah that's all and i'll see you in the next video bye bye